Okay, this is to show how to change a, a trigger. Um, trigger on a new 970. It's a different design. There's a, there's a fill screw here that's going to side cover. And I just take that off because that makes it a little bit easier to see where the spring locks. The, the spring for the trigger is the, uh, the dead man, dead man uh, safety, which is this one. So you have to have that down to hit the trigger, okay? Now, like I said, you'll see, you'll see on this side, you'll see on this side where I'll be pushing the pin. There's a safety pin, right? There's a drift pin. It's right here. See the drift pin, the hole? Get you either a drift pin. This is Allen screw. Get you a drift pin or a drift pin push or something the same size. So you can push a drift pin in. Now come around to the front here and you watch a drift pin come out. There's a drift pin. Okay, you take the drift pin out, set it off to the side. Now your trigger assembly even the broken one, you'll have to push it up a little bit to get the back lip out and then pull straight down. Okay, go to the other side. Now you have the trigger assembly, which we went over putting a spring in. I'm going to put it back in now. Uh, and the reason this is off to allow me to see it. First of all, chase the spring. This spring should be back in your trigger assembly. Chase the spring up to the up inside here. The, the spring has to go up inside of this this safety trigger. See how it came out. What you want to do, that's the reason I leave that, that cover off, makes it a little bit easier. What I do is chase it over, it's got to go right in the middle of this piece. Once it goes up there, you'll see how the spring's already holding it. Push the front half of the trigger up and push the back half so it locks in. It'll lock into place. At this point, insert your drip pin back into the system. Insert the drip pin back into the system. And then up here on top, you'll see. You'll see, you actually see the trigger assembly, and you have to line it up. You have to line that hole up for the trigger for the drip pin. And once you line up the drip pin, go on the other side now. Once you line up the drip pin, the drip pin will push in. At this point, you'll see the trigger is working fine. Push the drip pin. All the way in. See the trigger? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to move the trigger a little bit until it's, until it's in solid. Come back, reassemble your handle, put your screw in. Your trigger is fixed. Oh, until you do the dead man safety, your trigger's fixed and it's triggered.